plugged in. Oh yeah. Welcome back YouTube. This you got Big Herc 80. If you checked out my last video, uh, I installed the Ultra Cool uh, 3.0 dual fan assisted system for my built 124. Got it down there tucked away, looking nice. Uh, what we doing today is actually going to install the LED indicator it came with. The reason I was, uh, I took some time, I wanted to decide what I wanted to do. It came with a bracket to where you can mount it to the handlebar controls right here so it'll be visual just for you to glance over. I didn't know if I wanted to use it that way or mount it, actually drilling a hole in the fern. The more I thought about it, I didn't really want to put a hole anywhere. Uh, that way, anytime I removed it, I had to make sure I had to unplug it and go through that process. So I'm gonna mount it on the handlebar controls. It's a T27 and we're gonna get started. But it come with everything. You actually, per the instructions, you'll feed these wires in, and then press them in, then you just plug it in. So let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and take that bottom screw out. Like I said, it's a T27. And I can see you can put this either way. So I want mine to face up. I don't know, I don't want it hanging down there like that. So I'm gonna make sure that when I put it together, it sits up like that. Take this, make sure you go through the big hole on this one. Here is the, basically the little nut that locks on it that'll keep it secure. Feed it through. It's a little tight at first to get it over that rubber. But once you get past it, screws right on. Gonna lock it down. And the way I'm going to wrap my cable, I'm gonna route it right along my tuner cable. Cause it's gonna plug in right here. Gonna plug in right there and I can zip tie the excess and keep it under there. Now let's see how this looks and get it started. Take it right there and zip tight right with that cable. Let me go ahead and try and do this without taking off this lower little plastic piece. I think I could feed it right through that hole. Not pulling too tight because I don't want to take off any other insulation. Now, I'm going to prime this one to the one I'm going to put on and make sure we do it the same way. Then it says I'm going to look like a flathead. So let me go get a flathead. So it says you're going to press through and it says don't matter which way the wires go in. So 
It's got two indications on it. Barely see them. That is actually, let me get my flashlight so y'all can see down in there. Don't know if you can see it right there, but it has two grooves cut out. Those are gonna go on top of those. And comparing to the one that's came, it goes in, of course, this way to make sure. So now all we gotta do, so let me show you what I've done. Got the pieces in, shoved them in through the back, put that clip on that it came with. All right, let me show you what we've done. Got the two wires shoved in the back of it, like it said, per the instructions. Put that orange clip All right, I had to go change the battery. What I'm gonna do is get this curled up like I want it. And zip tight. I'm gonna curl it one more time. Zip tight right there. It's gonna be tucked out of the way. I can get to it if I need to. Yep, all of them in there. I always cut off my ends. So, might tie it up a little higher. That's what I might do. I might, I don't want it hanging when unnecessarily. So I'm gonna zip tie one, right? Put a zip tie right there. Is that in there? Yep. Now, we're tucked away. That zip tied, that zip tied. Okay, I wanted to check and just see how bright this little indicator was. So what I'm gonna do is take their uh, jumper that they included in the kit and just plug it in. See how bright it is. Oh, pop the whole one off. Plugged in. Oh yeah, I shouldn't have no problem seeing that. Y'all can hear them running down there.